Hi everyone, welcome back to Ahmad One Studio. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create soft body cloth simulation in Blender. So let's get started. Okay, so delete the light and camera. We don't need them for now. Press Ctrl or Command 3 to add subdivision surface and go to modify properties then press ctrl a to apply the subdivision surface modifier i'm going to scale it press s and 5 right click to shade smooth go to object data properties then view put display and display as a wire press shift a add a cube and press ctrl or command 3 to add subdivision surface then right click to shade smooth Press Shift D to duplicate, then make a copies of it, as many as you want. I'm gonna save this. Press Ctrl S to save the project and I will name it Soft Body Sim. So next thing I want to do is, I want to animate these cubes like scaling animation it will be just 10 frames so like pop-up animation select these cubes go to the 10 frame bring the scale down something like this then press i and click on the scale go back to first frame and scale these down something like this then press i and click on the scale select one of the cube and i'm gonna add cloth physics first we have quality steps this setting will describe the quality of the overall simulation then we have vertex mass it is the weight of the cloth the higher the value make your cloth more heavy and bouncy and the lower value will make it lighter and more sticky i'm gonna make it something like 10 kg then we have stiffness properties this is the setting which specify the property of the cloth. If you want hard cloth, you need to increase the tension and compression and has the pressure. I'm gonna give it a pressure of 150. Then go to save and click on dynamic mesh. Collision quality 5 and in object collision, distance 2.001. Self collision, it is self describing. It gives collision to the cloth and distance to 0 0.001 then we have field weight and the gravity to zero if we play we can see that we have the animation but we have to add the cloth physics modifier to the remaining objects select all these objects and press shift select this one and then press ctrl l and copy modifiers it will add the cloth physics modifier to all the objects. Now if we play this, we can see that all the objects have same cloth physics modifier. Right click to join all of these objects in one object so that we can see the cloth simulation happening. But we don't have collider for these objects. So select this cube that we made in the first and add collision modifier so we have soft body and cloth i'm gonna make the damping to zero thickness outer and inner to 0 0.01 if you have this single sided on then check this mark off then play the animation if you want to slow down the speed of the cloth simulation then decrease the speed multiplier But I don't want to slow my simulation, so I'm gonna keep 1. And in pressure, if you put lower value, then you will have soft cloth simulation. But again, I don't want this much soft, so I will keep 120. In collision, object and self collision to 0 0.01.
now that we have a nice cloth simulation we can bake it go to cache click on bake it will take some time depend on your pc we have baked the simulation now we can play and see so our cloth simulation is done now we will add materials to these objects go to viewport seeding and the render properties change the render engine to cycles and if you have a gpu then switch the device to gpu compute right click on top of the blender and split the area then editor type and shader editor switch object to alt and press ctrl t and we have this node setup if you don't have node wrangler on then go to edit and open preferences then go to the add on tab search node wrangler turn on it save preferences now open the sdri file i have downloaded this sdri from polyheaven change the color space to srgb we can see our sdri in the scene select this object and go to object data properties then viewport display and switch to textured press shift a and add a camera press numpad 0 to camera view if you press n it will open the sidebar and change the rotation x to 90 y and z to 0 i will move the camera to y axis and if you press g and render preview go to shader editor and world settings i will rotate the sdri rotation g axis to minus 80 and location z axis to 0.09 now let's go to object tab and we have a default principal bsdf shader so I'm gonna turn the transmission value on and the roughness value to zero. It's already looking like a glass and we can see those cloth seam in the glass. Press shift A, I'm gonna search transparent BSDF. Now I will mix the principal shader and transparent shader together to make it more transparent. Press shift A, I'm gonna add mix shader. So this will allow us to mix two shader together and plug the transparent into the first now if i change the factor value we can change this between principal and transparent bsdf but i want some parts to be more transparent so press shift a and search for layer weight let's take the facing and plug into the factor and by the way Control shift and click on any node that will preview the node so if you click multiple times it will go down to different values now if you look right here in the center you can see that it's very transparent i don't want it to be fully transparent so i want to make those values a little bit less strong and the blend value 0.4 and then control shift and select mix shader to preview it to control these values press shift a and i'm gonna search color ramp put the color ramp here between the layer weight and mix shader i can turn this black color to 0.1 so it doesn't fully transparent i'm gonna press shift a search for a noise texture if you press ctrl shift and click twice and it will come to the color you can see that we have random colors now turn down the scale here to 2 and then detail all the way up to 15 and the roughness to 0 0.05 now i want to use the object coordinates so that the noise texture is placed on the object more evenly so with the noise texture selected i'm gonna press ctrl t it's the node wrangler and delete the mapping we don't need it i want to use the object coordinates so let's plug the object into the vector so take the color and put into the base color Control shift and select to preview the mix shader press shift a and add area light so that we can see how the light is affecting press shift a and i'm gonna search bump and plug into normal and plug the color into height it's a bit more strong so i'm gonna turn the strength value down to 0 0.05 it's gonna be very subtle press ctrl shift click twice and turn the distortion value to now you can see there are lots of little rings you can animate this and try this and i'm sure you will get awesome results so you can see there is a little bit of bump it's more realistic now now i'm going to create a new material for the cloth click on the new tab and here we have a default principal psdf material and press shift a search for a rgb color node let's plug into the base color i'm gonna take an orange color then i'll add some subsurface so plug into the subsurface color and turn this up to 0.3 now i'm gonna plug into emission color and turn the strength 
10 to 0.2 or 0.3 it will help to glow a bit and roughness to 0.05 now i will add more material to this object so that i can add a different color click on the plus and create a new material this will be the same as before i did okay now i have two materials so i will assign this material to some of the objects press z and you will have this menu go to wireframe and select this object and go to edit mode by pressing tab and press l to select on at a time and assign this material it's looking good already now press shift a add a sun give this a warm tone and turn the strength up to 25 and rotate the sun to get a nice light i'm gonna add minus 25 to the x axis now i will make the auto surface now press shift a and add a plane and press s to scale this up to 25 bring down the plane to something like this now go to Serial Editor and make a new material. Turn the transmission value all the way up to 1 and the roughness value down to 0 and metallic value to around 0.3. Now press Shift A and search Noise and drop the noise here and take a bump node and plug into normal. Then plug the factor to height and bring down the strength to 0.2 and distance to 0.1. Turn the detail to up to 3 and press Ctrl Shift and click in Noise Texture to preview it. Look at these black and white values. Turn the roughness value to 0.8 and the distortion to 0.2 or 0.1 is fine. Change this 3D to 4D and uh, I will animate this value. So turn this up to 0.3 and press I and insert keyframe. Then go to the last frame and turn this up to 2 and press I and insert keyframe here and we have the animation. Press Ctrl Shift and select to preview it. Those floating spheres, I did that with the help of dynamic paint and I have added some particles. That's all. So I hope you guys learned something and that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Create something beautiful with it. Share on Instagram and make sure to use hashtag Ahmad One Studio.